Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And um, today I just wanted to film kind of a fall. I know we're transitioning into winter now. It's almost the end of November. Um, but I did want to put out some fall looks. This is an olive green kind of smoky eye look. Um, at least I hope that's what it looks like on camera. But um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Let me know what you want to see next. More fall videos, more holiday makeup looks different kinds of stuff, just let me know. Be sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will just go ahead and get started. Go in with my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and just focus that more on my T-zone in the center of my face. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Born This Way. This is in the shade Golden Beige. Uh, this is not going to match me right now. I mean, literally the palest that I've ever been. But I am going to mix it in with the Dermablend uh, Flawless Creator. It's like a pigment that you can mix in with other stuff. And this is in the shade 37W. And this will lighten it up some, but it's still... I'm going to have to put bronzer down my neck and decolletage to make it matte. Alright, and so that's what it looks like. And then I'll mix it together. Okay, and that's the shade that it came out as. Then I go in with my Damp Beauty Blender and just blend that out on my skin. Two layers of that foundation and I'm going to go in with concealer. Okay. I haven't used my MAC Pro Longwear in so long. I kind of want to use it and just see if I like it still. Like I haven't used it in so long. But I am going to go in with a little bit of the Too Faced Multi Sculpt Concealer in Vanilla first. This is the MAC Pro Longwear, and this is an MC25, and like I said, I haven't used this in so long, but I kind of just want to dabble in. And I just used a concealer brush to apply that because it does pump out. I hate that concealer, like how it pumps out, but it is what it is. Okay. I am so extra with my powders, I literally grabbed four loose powders and two pressed powders because that's where I'm at in my life. But I'm just going to go in with that damp beauty blender and start blending out that concealer. And I will go over the center of my face with the residual product. And then under my eyes I'm going to set that with the Fenty powder and butter. Make sure there are no creases before I set. I'm also going to go over my eyelids with that shade. Then I'm going to set the rest of the center of my face with the CoverGirl True Blend Loose Powder in Banana. I just think right now for as pale as I am, it's too dark for my under eyes. But we'll just lightly set around my mouth. And then on my chin, but also on my forehead. Then for the rest of my face, I'm going to set with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And just press that in first. And then test away any excess as well. And then I told y'all this is like my favorite thing to do right now, but I'm going to go in with the Anastasia powder in vanilla. And um, I'm loving carving out a contour before I put it there. It's softer. It's not as like structured. 
is doing it after, but it still gives you a more chiseled look. So I'm going to go from the top of my ear down toward my mouth. And I'll let that sit for a second while I do my eyebrows and then I will brush it off. I'm going to bronze and contour. I'm going to go in with the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate. Um, you can tell I love this. This is my favorite bronzing product right now. And so I just lightly put that on my cheeks and into my temples kind of starting out soft at first and this is a soft powder softer powder and then I'll do my temples and forehead I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Omega Bronzer and I'm going to use this to contour In the same areas, just kind of keeping it a little smaller and tighter and not blowing it out so much. And then this is a product I used to love and I haven't used it in so long, but I did want to pull it back out. This is the Hourglass um, Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer. Um, and this is, I'm really... My skin has changed so much and I'm kind of into more of a luminous look and so I want to pull this out and try it. I do want to pick up some of the um, Hourglass just face powders just to see if, I don't know, my taste has changed and I kind of want more of a glowy look. Like I like to be matte still and I like my makeup to last but I just feel so flat now. I don't know if it's because my skin's dry but I want to try some different products to kind of bring my skin back to life. I'm going to go in with my Revlon stipple brush and just dip it in here, tap off the excess, and then just lightly dust over my cheeks. And it does have like this subtle glow, but it also is so blurring. I don't know if you can see like it's just giving me a nice blur to my skin, which is kind of like it, it looks healthy, but glowy and blurred all at the same time. I'm going to have to pull that out and start using it more. For blush, I'm going to go in. I really, y'all know the Clinique Colourpop blush is like my favorite, but I've really been into just like nude blushes all of a sudden. Like who am I? So this is the Tarte exposed blush. I'm just going to load my brush up and apply that. And it really doesn't look like much. It's just like a nude flush. I don't know. Just been really into it. And then I'm going to top that with the e.l.f. Um, primer infused blush in Always Rosy. I will do highlight after I do my eyes, y'all know that's how I do it. So right now I'm going to spray my face with some MAC Fix Plus and I used to like this and then I hated it and now I feel like I'm back into it because it just gets rid of all the excess powder and really helps my skin look more radiant, which again is what I'm going for. Like I'm using a dewy foundation and like I'm just completely changing everything. I feel so out of it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use this. Tan myself. Now I will say the Fix Plus doesn't help my makeup stay on any longer. But it just gets rid of that extra powdery look. And since I'm a little bit more dry right now. And I use a lot of powder. I kind of feel like that's what I need. I just don't feel like I can't not use powder. Like I think I'm just so in that. I've used it for so long I can't not use it. So I just want y'all to know I'm really 
hardcore debating on what to do with my eyes today. I really want to do a, like, just what I would wear. It's probably what I'll wear for Thanksgiving for my makeup, to be honest. Um, a neutral tutorial with the Jackie Ina palette. Um, if you want to see that, let me know in this video. Like, leave a comment down below. Um, or like this video. That'll tell me that you want to see it. But, I think I want to do an olive green eye. I don't really do color a whole lot. But, I mean, olive green is like a fall neutral... <coughs> color. I know that's hard to explain, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, but like I said, if y'all want to see like what I will do for different holiday makeup, just let me know and I will pump out some looks because I got a few different looks and that'll help me decide what I want to actually do. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe vault collection. This is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. Um, it is this one right here, and obviously that's the green that I will use, but I think I'm going to use some of Access, some different colors, but um, we're just going to see. We're just going to make it work. So, I'm going to start off by going in with um, the Access shade, which is that like yellow mustard shade. Okay, I'm just going to go in with this. This is on a Morphe... And Jaclyn Hill JH30 brush and I'm just gonna really put that um, yellow down I'm gonna really saturate it in my crease as my transition shade I'll start off light -er, and then build it up I am gonna like work top to bottom I know that y'all have seen that in like a video in the past that's kind of like my new thing um, is to go top to bottom, just back and forth with my eyes. So I'm going to use a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH37 brush, and I'm going to put that same Axis shade, that yellow, and really blow that out on my lower lash line, but connect it to what I'm doing on the top as well. And now that I've got that down, I am going to go in with the green and then I'll kind of deepen it up and stuff. But the green in this one is top secret. I am going to use a MAC 239 um, and really pack that on that brush. Tap off a little bit of the excess so I don't get so much fault out. And I'm just going to pack this all over my lid. And now that I've got that shade packed on, I'm going to go in with a Morphe M573. It's like a little bit more of a tapered brush. And I'm going to use just a little bit of Top Secret on it and access a mixture of the yellow and the green. And I'm going to try to buff out that edge. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with just the green. And just kind of pull it up slightly into my crease. And blend it with that yellow. And then I'll go back in with that JH30 to really kind of soften it. Make sure there are no harsh edges. On my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with my Smashbox pencil brush and that Top Secret shade. And put that... Um, I think on the outer corners, I'm going to go in with a mixture of these two browns, Smooth Criminal and Prowl, and kind of deepen up my outer corner and outer V. Um, I'm going to go in with this MAC 217 for this and I'll just pop that on the outer corner it's really not sticking but that's fine it's just to slightly deepen it it's not going to do a whole lot and then so 
slightly bring that into the crease. I just want to know the first ever like expensive brush that I bought was my uh, MAC 217 <laughs> and this is not the one that I bought. I used that thing for everything like it literally looked so bad. I think I probably still have it somewhere um, but I used it as like my big fluffy brush and as a more precise brush and then like it's supposed to be used and the shape of it just completely changed because I just used it for everything but I love this brush it is very good and I will say I mean Morphe makes one that's similar to it and it's good but it doesn't hold its shape like the MAC one does I've washed this so many times and I've used it for so many different things and it just holds up in my Morphe one. I've had to buy so many different ones because it just doesn't hold up. And then I'm going to use a Morphe M408. It's like a really small, um, you could use it for packing or smudging. I'm going to use it to smudge those two darker or those two brown shades right on the outer corner of my eyes. On my lower lash line just to match it with the top and then on the top of my lid I am going to go back in with some more of that green and just intensify it with all that blending and stuff it started to fade and I'm going to blend it into that brown that I put in the outer corner as well um now I'm going to use some black eyeshadow I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona black is black and use it as eyeliner. Y'all know I love to do this. I do it in all my videos. And I'm also going to use the Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner to tight line my top. And then I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Eyeliner in Rogue Coco on my lower lash line. It's more of like a bronzy shade just to not be as dark as the black but still smoky okay and then to kind of smoke out that black that i put on there just a little bit i'm going to go in with smooth criminal and prowl on a morphe m506 and just kind of dust over it to really soften it up and make it smoky i'm going to do my inner corner highlight i'm going to go in with the dose of colors and i love sarah he soulmate highlight and i'm going to use a Morphe E36 and I'm going to pop that on my inner corner. Okay, and then I'm going to take a Morphe M213. It's a little, little packing brush and I'm going to use this to highlight my brow bone as well. And then I'm going to use that same Morphe M213 and take the Marc Jacobs Worth the Weight Omega Glaze Highlight and it's like a stark white gold and I'm just going to pop that right on the inner corner and then to highlight my face I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. and Nabella Noir Highlight that she came out with. It's a loose highlight and Take that on a Morphe M501. Just highlight the high points of my face. And then I'm going to spray my face. Alright, so this time I'm going to go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist first. And I'm also going to use the, um, this is actually the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, but the sprayer on it was like super janky. So I used an old Urban Decay All Nighter bottle and I just, you can't unscrew the top of the Milani. So I just sit there and spray this on the inside. It was a process, but I got it in here and it sprays much better now. So I'm going to use that too. And then I'm going to go in with my mascara. I'm going to use the new Too Faced mascara and the Collab Volumizing Mascara. I'm going to put that on my lashes. You could totally be done with this look here and put on a lip. Um, 
I don't know if I want to put on lashes. I pulled out my House of Lashes Iconic Light. Um, I do think that this calls for more of a like spiky lash instead of like a fluffy lash, but you know, you can do whatever you want. I actually think Kylie Exposed would be perfect with this uh, because it's warm, it's a warm nude. But I don't want to use a liquid lipstick because my lips are a little dry right now. So I'm going to go in with MAC Strip Down Lip Pencil. For the center of my lips, I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Dose of Colors and Katie Collabs. This is more creamer, please. I'm going to put that on first. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of No Shade. All right, guys, and this is the finished look. Had a wardrobe change, put on some different earrings, um, and I did end up popping on those iconic like lashes, and I think that they just, bam, make the look. But yeah, I am super loving it. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you like the look. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want to see next. More tutorials or. Um, I don't know, some different kinds of tutorials. Let me know what colors or products you want me to use. Um, but yeah, thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.